Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a side-by-side -side bar chart as shown in the picture. And this tutorial actually accompanies a blog post titled Data Viz Challenge Number 3, The Answers, which is on my blog at emeryevaluation.com. So there are 10 steps to making this side-by-side -side bar chart, and I've typed them right there, and there are more details in the blog post too. So step one, study the chart that you're trying to reproduce in Excel. So here's a screenshot of the chart again. We've got coalition A scores on the left, coalition B scores on the right. This is not a default chart in Excel. It uses a lot of Excel elbow grease. So let's take a look at some of the things we need to do. So step two, here is the secret. We're actually going to make two separate bar charts. So this is a bar chart here, and this is actually a second bar chart for coalition B. Step three, type the data into Excel. I already have that finished. Here's my data table right here, coalition A and coalition B scores. Step four, create the first bar chart. Okay, so I'm actually gonna delete this screenshot and just get it out of the way. And let's insert the first bar chart. So select this data. Go to insert, go to bar, 2D clustered bar. Here's the default chart, looks something like this. And I'm gonna go through this really, really fast. Let's see how quick I can do it. Okay. We don't really need these extra tick marks, just get rid of those. We don't need this to be delineated every 10 percentage points, maybe every 25th is enough. Let's make those gray just to send them to the background. And we can also make this part gray. Not as crucial of information. Let's add some data labels and let's format them so that they're actually inside the end of the bar. Let's adjust the gap width. Let's try, I don't know, 40%, see what that looks like. That's a lot better. We can make this a little bigger too. Make these fonts bigger, probably bold, because that's what we want the reader's eye to go to. And we'll adjust the color scheme. Use these custom colors that match my client's logo. And delete the border. Okay, there we go. Oops, we'll just make this white. So it's easier to read. I think that's it. Yep, okay. So that's the first bar chart. Step five, copy the first chart. So just click on it, control C, click over here to the right, control V. Now we've got a copy. Step six, populate the second chart with coalition B's data. Okay, so we're gonna click on the chart, right click, select data, edit this. So instead of D1, we want it to pull from E1. And again, instead of the data um, values coming from D2 to D9, just delete this D, insert an E instead, click OK. OK, there we've got coalition B's data. Step seven, adjust the second chart's bar color and title. So let's make this a red chart, again using the custom color palette from my client's logo. We'll make this one dark red to purposefully draw your eye to the overall scores. And we need to adjust the title, it needs to say coalition B, and they had N of eight people fill out the survey. Step eight, delete the second chart's axis labels. So actually just click on this axis and press the delete key on your keyboard. And it gets really screwy. We've just messed up the measurements, but don't despair, we're gonna fix it. So step nine, resize the second chart. Now you can't see, but I'm actually holding a business card up to the screen and I'm measuring this plot area. So I've got my business card up. It's maybe, I don't know, three inches wide. And we're gonna match it to the business card. Perfect. Let's adjust the second one now. So again, it's the width of my business card. I've gotta shrink it quite a bit. Let's see. Gotta shrink it even more. And right about there. Perfect. Okay, so now this area from 0 to 100, this width, is the same. We haven't distorted anything. And finally, step 10, just paste them into PowerPoint. So you just select them both, control C, and you'd go paste them into a word. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed learning about a side-by-side -side bar chart in just five minutes. Thank you.